All right, so let me tell you the story of how I figured out my one of around 100 left in the world 1978 Dodge Challengers seats decided to start crumbling apart. <sighs> and it all starts with me getting a manual. Are the perks of having an Instagram account and being active in the car community? You meet some really cool people. So, a guy who's at, you'll see right down below, happened to come across none other than a 1978 Dodge Challenger slash Plymouth Sapporo Hayes Manual at a thrift store. And, I mean, who else? Who else is that going to bring to mind than me with my strange little quirky Mitsu Mopar? And here it is. I basically paid the price he paid for the thrift store plus shipping and nothing else. Oh, some colored pictures? What? <laughs> Ah, for the advertisements. So now, if I ever need to do something funky to my car, not that I'll do it because I don't know how to do anything, but if I really want to try, this is exactly what I'll need. Everything explained to the nth degree. These Haynes manuals are just insane. Basically, before the internet... Um, shops had just stacks and stacks of these. So if they had to work on the emissions control system, they just quickly read it up, read, learn about it, look at the diagram and figure it out their, themselves, which I am very bad at doing. But one can try. Okay, so now I'm going to go put the manual in the Challenger. But the thing that I'm worried about, this will be the first time I've opened up the Challenger in a year and a half. In that time, I've lost my a normal set of house keys, which had the original Challenger key on it. So this is a spare. If this spare doesn't work, I am locked out of my Challenger. So let's find out together. Uh, cannot wait for this weekend if the weather's good. All right, moment of truth. Right, I'm instinctively opening the passenger side because that's how it is in the Sable. Oh. Oh, just turned it the wrong way. Yes, <laughs> let's go. This was the moment I had noticed. Oh, that that doesn't look right. That looks terrible. But I kind of just put it in the back of my head and didn't. I tried not to think about it until. Okay, good stuff. Now, see, if it opens the trunk, it should, right? Yes, let's go. This will go so hard at car show. After I had put the manual in my trunk, I just had to double check that. No way, but I see it's actually looked that bad, right? Like, there's no way. It must have just been some weird reflection or something. But unfortunately, it was not. So here I am, back in the Challenger. Of course, somehow, the driver's seats are pretty much fine. Um, they honestly look great. But, dear God, this looks so bad. It is insane just how much this has eroded away. <sighs> so, to prevent the dash from cracking anymore, I believe there are some small cracks in it. Um, but to prevent that, I'm going to start applying this. I just cannot get over how this looks. Like, I am distraught. Look, everything is just crumbling. Like, it feels so delicate. Like, I don't ever want to bring a passenger in here right now. Like, oh, it looks so bad. And the weird thing is, everything else looks perfectly fine. This is literally flawless. And my, even the driver's side is, let me get out. It's next to flawless. It is like 
one hole, I think. One hole? Okay, a couple holes right here. The red, okay, three holes. All right, three holes. But <laughs> this looks totally acceptable. That looks monstrous, dude. I cannot get over how bad it looks. I, I have failed this car, dude. I failed this car. I'm not worthy of this car. And I posted on the second generation Dodge Challenger and Plymouth Sapporo Facebook group that I am a admin of and was one of the original members of. I asked, um, look at my seats, y'all. This is this, this is terrible. I'm distraught right now over these freaking seats. What do I do? What can I do? Is there any way to repair them? Is there any way to patch them? Is there any place I can reupholster them? Is there any place I could recreate the fabric? Is there any place that has the fabric? I was just thinking, trying to think of anything. And then this guy. So I went to the website that he recommended and I didn't see my fabric. So I thought that was that. But I noticed on the top of the website that it said, this isn't everything we have in our inventory. So make sure to call us and maybe we'll have more. Okay, so I did. I called them. They asked, uh, some lady picked up. Hey, uh, what do you need? Oh, okay. Could you look for the uh, trim code or something on your car? It should be in your door sill. Well, I didn't see it in my door sill. So she's like, okay, what you're going to want to do is email us and send pictures of it and describe the car to the best of your ability, the trim and everything like that. And we'll see what we can do. That's when I got this email. Okay, I'm driving, but I don't care. This is such a good update. So I emailed the guy at SMS and I was at a stoplight, checking my phone at a stoplight, I promise, I'm not even keeping, I'm keeping my eyes open, I'm not even looking at my phone until I get to the stoplight. Um, and he already responded back and he says, I have it. He has it. Oh my God, let's go right now. He's already asking me how much I need. I'm not sure how to figure that out. I'm gonna try to measure uh, the seat area and we are gonna restore that seat probably within the next few months even. Let's freaking go, bro. I was so excited. I was honestly nervous. Okay, like you guys have seen, if you follow my Instagram, oh God, it's cold. My passenger seat has basically disintegrated. Why is there a fly in my, whatever, who cares? My passenger seat is essentially disintegrated from being left out in the sun for so long, Mr. and Mrs. Oh, it's a car, it's meant to be left out in the sun. Okay, look at this and tell me this was meant to be left in the freaking sun. It's okay, I'm gonna blame myself. It's not your guys' fault that I don't know what I'm doing. But I found a company that actually has this material in stock somehow by some miracle sms essentially just has everything ever <laughs> like every little fabric ever i think they get little samples and then learn how to recreate it so it's 160 dollars per fabric yard which is 65 inches by three feet so i'm going to measure this right now this is looking like 20 inches by, let's see. So this little thing is about a foot. And then this here is about, let's see, terrible cinematography, is about a foot as well. So 20 inches across and then two feet this way. I think honestly, one fabric yard could be enough but because this is probably my only chance ever to find this material ever again i'm gonna get enough for this seat and even enough for the rears even though the rears look perfectly beautifully fine oh and this is our door insides oh baby i love this interior but uh yeah so that's the plan right now get a bunch of excess bring this to a reupholsterer get it reupholstered and then once i do that the only thing left on my car that I'm not proud of on this beautiful specimen is the front grille. So as you can clearly, 
clearly, clearly see <laughs> this thing has seen better days. Yeah, the pinstripe taping or vinyl sticker is just crumbling off. The red paint underneath is peeling off. The black paint is peeling off. The chrome paint is peeling off, or silver rather. Everything is peeling apart. So I'm either gonna get this done by local legend, Caster, fans of Utah. Many people probably know who that is. More people know who he is than me, probably. Even people watching this probably don't know who I am, but know who he is. But he offered to do this. If I can get these three colors um, replicated and then put into spray cans. <laughs> Apparently he's very comfortable with uh, rattle can paint jobs. And you can see his work yourself. If you guys have seen a salmon truck, obviously he knows how to use a freaking rattle can. I don't, I'm still torn between doing that and then taking it somewhere to like a professional restoration shop where they can do the pinstriping tape and then just do everything exactly to that OEM 1978 standards. Even though ironically, the tape probably still won't last as long as Caster's rattle can job would. So that's kind of where I'm at right now with the Challenger in terms of cosmetics. But obviously, the first thing I gotta do is get it running. Once this dude moves his car, if I have time next weekend, or tomorrow actually, before the Super Bowl, I am starting it up. So get this, get this thing out of the way. <laughs> 